so far this season? How do you continue? Uh, I would just say continuing to trust each other. Um, it's not a one-man sport. Our coaches talk about that, that a lot and highlight that. Um, it's a team sport, so us being unified, connected, I think that goes a long way into you know the record that we have. And obviously, it feels good, but we're not satisfied. Um, we're going to try to keep pushing. The goal is the A10 ter uh, championship, make it to the tournament. So obviously, that's the main goal. But I would definitely say being connected, being together all the time, definitely plays a lot. To Did you take a look at that game over there this morning? Oh yeah, I had to, I had to, had to, had to support. <laughs> As the A10 play kind of comes closer, does the mindset change at all for either of you? Um, my mindset kind of stays the same. I want to dominate every game I play, no matter the opponent. And um, I think that's our team mindset as well. Nobody wants to lose, especially at home. So being 6 0 at home f feels good. And then I say, with me being a DC guy, it feels super good. And uh, knowing that I lost two state championships in that gym and to be 6 0 this year feels amazing. So. I just thank the teammates and the coaches, but I think with 810, thinking about 810, my side stays, stays the same. We just want to dominate and win and just show that, that we are GW and we're here to be here, like we're here to stay. So, Just to piggyback off that, like the mindset was implanted into us. So I graduated May 29th. I was here June 3rd. So June 3rd, as soon as I got here, that mindset of just wanting to be great every single day, continuing to work, um, definitely goes into our mindset, just not changing. You touched on this a little, but 17 turnovers in the game today. Um, what can you do uh, to clean that up in practice, uh, connecting together as you go into conference play? Uh, me, personally, I got to stop doing jump passes. Coach Caputo <laughs> is on me about jump passes. I'm sorry, Coach. Um, I got to just stop when I get into pain and just find the right guy. I think I do a good job of it. I just got to limit the, the turnovers. I think as a team, we all just try to make the right play. I think sometimes we kind of get like – trying to make the home run play instead of the simple play. So I think as we limit it to, to just make the simple play and make the right play, we'll be fine down the line. So, uh, George's, George's Army, they're, yeah. they're out big tonight. I how, love does that, how does that affect you guys when you see them with a lot of energy? I love them. Um, it feels great, especially after the game when we get to run it and shake their hands and just thank them for coming. It feels great. And uh, like the game against Navy, if they weren't there, I don't think we pulled that one out. Honestly, their energy was tremendous, and they helped us fight back into the game and keep the lead and come out with a win. So they've been great all year, and I just hope it continues to grow. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. We'll take an opening statement for Coach, and then we will open up for questions. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I thought um, good night for us. Got got a lot of uh, got a lot of guys minutes. I thought the minutes were spread out pretty good. Um, our defense was, you know, I think as expected. Uh, I thought pretty good, in the, especially in the half court. Um, they got us on the glass a little bit, but uh, I, again, I, I think stretch is such a factor at the rim. You know, just there's a level of confidence that comes with him waiting there for people. Uh, now, obviously, as you as you kind of get into league play, you got to keep it out of there better at times. But I think we did a pretty good job of that. I got to watch. But uh, good night all around. Got Zam some minutes, which is I was looking to do. He's been practicing well. It was not a surprise that he made those threes. He's been making them. You know, every day in practice, so I was happy there. Question. Um, so ten guys scored tonight, and you guys had twenty assists overall. Mm -hmm. And I noticed both ball player movement was excellent today. So, what do you think um, allowed your team to do so well in this regard? Yeah, we we've been emphasizing it. Um, I'm a little bit, you know, I'm concerned with the turnovers, but I thought some of them, most of them, were just trying to pass the ball and maybe making the wrong read or playing on two feet uh, would have helped. But, you know, I think we, we keep this uh, virtual assist number. We were at 34 the other night, which is a good number for us. Kind of in the 30s is good. And 20 assists, I'm assuming we missed enough where we got up over the 30 number, you know, 32, 33, something like that. So I think, uh, you know, I'm encouraged by the sharing the ball. It's one of the things about passing the ball a lot is 
you could turn the ball over a lot when you pass it. You know, the good way to not turn it over is never pass, but it's not really a good way to play basketball either. So we got to clean it up. That's obvious. But everything else I thought was pretty good as related to that. Yeah, of course, Coppin State is a buy game. They're, you know, in terms of metrics, one of the lower teams in the NCAA. When you guys play games like this, you know, what are you looking for out of the team? Yeah, just trying to get better. I mean, I, I just think, you know, I've been around it long enough to know that games like this could go very south for people. It happens every year, so I'm not naive to think that that couldn't happen to a team of, you know, whatever. I don't know. Every time I look on the court, we got freshmen and sophomores out there. It's not like these guys have been through a lot of wars, you know. Some of these guys are 10 games into their college career. So, uh, but you, you know, you want to be the, I told the team, you know, you, just, you really want to strive to be the best version of yourself, which is uh, irregardless of the opponent. You talk about the freshmen on the team, the, the two guys we had here tonight, 13 and 14 points. Can you just talk about how both Trey and Buchanan have really come, up, come along, especially um, after the Bahamas? And yeah, I mean, I, I just, I mean, I think all our friends, Jacoy had a nice night at six points and five assists. Um, you know, uh, Garrett obviously has gotten a lot of publicity and is well deserved, deserved of that. Um, he is, he's been a little bit banged up, so, uh, you know, it's hasn't quite been himself in the last week or so, but, but that's okay. Um, and, uh, Darren has been incredibly consistent now, you know, really understands his role. I think Trey and Darren really understand who they are as players. They kind of play to their strength. A lot of times that's an adjustment for a young player is like understanding like, hey, how can you be effective at this level at this time? And I think in, in, in Darren and, and Trey's case, they really do, they kind of play to their strengths, which allows them to be successful at times. I think it's no secret you've tried really hard to engage with the fans and yeah. the GW community. What does it mean to you to see the energy in the room like there oh, was tonight or against Navy? That's yeah, it's really I think part of the job here. I think if you if you're not doing that at GW, you're not doing the job, you know. I just think we got a chance here to build an incredible home court environment. It's a wonderful building, as I've said. I think we've got great student support. I think we can continue to build upon that. Um, they're loud. They're they're great. I mean, I just think, like, as we get to the point where we continue to improve, we've got to continue to work to sell season tickets to people in, the, in our community, whether it be our alums or people within the district or Arlington or McLean or Bethesda. You know, like, these are th this is low-hanging fruit for us. Like, we can do this here. Uh, I think institutionally everybody understands what's in front of us in terms of the opportunity. And I think uh, it will only get better and better, you know. And, and, and if we win every game the rest of the season, I'm sure it'll be awesome. But I don't know that that's going to be the case, right? But that shouldn't matter because what should matter is that this is part of the culture of going to school at GW. And we've got, what, 11,000 undergrads, right? So all we need is 2,000 of them to show up. You know, every night, and, and you know, we don't quite get that number, but we're, you know, we're pushing a thousand every night, which is really, I think, a, a, a great start. So, and building off that, now uh, GW is six and zero at home for the yeah. first time since uh, 2015, 2016. So, nice. what do you think is important to do to uh, continue this momentum? Well, one, I think nobody should go home. When, hopefully, nobody's going home, and we can be here on Tuesday, right? Everyone's taking their finals; they're going to be here on Tuesday. Um, if we need to cancel a couple of finals Tuesday night, I'm sure I can. Oh, Tuesday's reading day. Reading day is great. That's like at Miami, we used to call that syllabus week. Syllabus week. But uh, so everybody's got to come on Tuesday. I think, you know, we were not going to have people here. I get on the 21st and that sucks. But um, my hope is that if we don't get people back on the 3rd for Fordham, which I would love for people to come back for that, I'm almost certain then I think Davidson might be our next home game and everyone should be back on the 13th. There's no reason not to come back on the 13th because then we play 13th, 15th, I think. It's a great weekend to be in D.C. before. When does class start? 16th? Perfect. Everyone needs to be here that Saturday night <laughs> or Saturday afternoon or whatever time it is. So whatever I can do to get that going, I'll, 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 I'll get going. So. Yeah, you led the whole game and kept the lead despite uh, some of Coppin State's runs. Uh, 
How did you kind of respond to those runs, whether it be through the press or, or, or the guys just getting back and responding with runs of their own? So yeah, I actually thought the freshmen, the three freshmen had nice plays, right? Garrett, Jacoy, and Trey all like one, two, three in a row to uh, to get us to the point where we extended the lead. I'm, 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 you know, you're trying different things, right? But uh, to, to kind of get ourselves going a little bit when they were making a little bit of a run. But, you know, those guys, we called a timeout or there was a media timeout and those guys came out and were, were great. So. What do you think about the effectiveness of the press? So you guys try yeah, we're trying a, a little bit. Variations. Trying a little bit. Got to get a little bit better. You know, trying to have different things here this month that we can work through to maybe present uh, in league play. Um, practice is funny, like, because you, know, you play three games in three days. You come back Monday, Tuesday is off because you just played three games in three days. Then Wednesday, Thursday, we weren't in great physical shape, I think I've talked about, to lead up to South Carolina. So practice has been, like, a day and a, or so. And so hopefully now if we get past Tuesday, you have a lot of practice and only two games for a while. And it's a chance to really sharpen the iron a little bit on some things. And the press might be one of those things. Yeah, you mentioned uh, uh, you said Garrett wasn't himself or something to that effect. Um, is that a result of the, the media? No, 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 no. The contusion, he had this knee contusion that uh, happened in the Bahamas that he's worked his way back from. Uh, but I don't think he's like 100%. So he's doing a, as, as best he can managing it daily and trying to practice and everything. But, you know, I don't see, uh, I, don't, I don't think he's 100% yet. I think he needs this break coming up to get that. Con the only thing you can do with those contusions is sort of like take some medication and try to be careful with it and, and all that. So. Anything else? All right. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Pretty crazy. We got the Syracuse media here for Trey Autry. That's funny.